Hey guys, my name is Christy and this is My Crafty Country. I hope you consider subscribing before you leave and we're just going to jump right into this. I First I made a floral wreath using the styrofoam wreath form and all of these different florals and on these florals I did not use one whole stem for any of it so you could use it for multiple projects. So first thing I did was cut off the pieces I wanted and just kind of form them, laid them around the wreath form first before I started stabbing any in just to kind of get a base for what I wanted and I did the lavender around the outside edges and then I did the peonies all across the top and then I was able to fill in the gaps to cover the rest of the styrofoam wreath form with the lamb's ear stems. And here I am using pieces of the baby's breath and the little pieces off of the peony stem that had the purple flowers on them just to help fill in some gaps. Now with all of these florals, I did stab them into the wreath ring. If you have trouble and you think they're going to come out, put a little hot glue on the end of your stem before you stab it in and that'll keep it completely in place. That way you don't have to worry about it. For my other project, I'm going to use this cross from Dollar Tree and the first thing I did was I took the base off of it. I was very careful not to break the base or the cross because I am going to be putting them back together. And I took the base and I painted it purple I believe. And then I covered the cross with Mod Podge and I'm going to do the iron on Mod Podging with the one ply of this napkin. Make sure you do the one ply because if you do two plies it won't adhere it well. So just make sure you just use the one ply and then use parchment paper in between your napkin and your iron so you don't burn it or get stuff all over your iron. And then I just use a sanding stone to take off the excess napkin and I hot glued the cross back into the base. If you want to do any covering to protect your cross, you could Mod Podge over top of it or just spray clear coat. And that's all there is to this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. And I hope you will subscribe before you leave. And I'll see you next time.